What's going on everybody? This is Chaz with Homegrown How To. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, thanks for coming by. In today's video, I'm going to be installing these ultra thin LED RBGAI lights from the company Lumeri. Each one of these lights is super thin, about the thickness of sheetrock. These can go anywhere, even if you've got a joist running right through where you want this light to go. So that is super convenient. Each one of these lights also comes with its own junction box. So I'm going to be installing these up into my ceiling. These do not need a canned light necessarily. Basically these tabs here just hook onto the sheetrock and hold that light right into place. So pretty sweet, pretty cool idea. These lights from Lumeri, these are actually their new lights. These are six inch version of these. They do also come in four inch, but these are the RBG AI down lights. These ones come equipped with the night light around the border here. I have the regular recessed lighting from Lumeri that I've already done a video on. I'll drop that in the corner. I think it's over here. You can check out the video to those lights as well. Those are pretty sweet lights. So we're here in my son's room and conveniently enough, we do have attic access here. So that's gonna make this process a lot easier. I'm gonna be putting four lights in this room, in my boy's room, and four lights in this room. This is currently the kid's playroom. It's going, we're going to be transitioning this into my daughter's room as she's getting a little bit older. So we're gonna put the lights up in here. We've just got those traditional boob dome lights that are sitting in the room. So we're gonna go ahead and pigtail off of those. So let's go ahead and get into this. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to measure where you're going to be putting the lights. So I'm gonna basically be doing about three feet off of each corner. All right, so I'm currently down here in my basement at my electrical box here. These are my circuit breakers. This is the breaker for two of the bedrooms upstairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip that off. And then I'll go ahead and check that with my voltage tester when we get upstairs. And I've also got my Klein voltage tester. Green says we're good to go. All right, so I'm gonna be using the six inch hole saw. This will make really easy cuts of where I've measured so I can just stick those lights right up in. Should be super easy. Before I use that big hole saw, I am going to use just a small little drill bit here and poke a hole through. And then I'll stick one of these landscape flags up through so I can hopefully see that. It's pretty thick up there. I don't know if this is gonna be long enough. But hopefully I can see this when I'm up in the ceiling up there. Go make sure there's no wires or anything else in the way. So let's try that out. So I'll just go ahead and roll up each flag. That way I can slide that up through each hole. It'll be easy to find once I'm up in the attic and that pokes through the insulation. All right, so I got my headlamp and my respirator on. It's gonna get dusty up there, so let's go check it out. I'm gonna make sure there's no sort of wire or anything in the area here. Climbing up in that attic was not the most fun, but now we know that we've got nothing in the way of those holes. I'm gonna go ahead and drill those out with the big hole saw. Then we'll start running our wires. So a little quick tip when using one of these hole saws, start in reverse counterclockwise to score a little bit of a line and then go back clockwise. Not gonna push too hard, just really light, and that should cut really smooth. All right, so I just went up in the attic, fished this wire down through here, and then I've got that wire running around here, and I looped this down, ran the wire over, looped it down, ran it over, and then I looped, ran this one this way, and I've got a single wire coming down through there. So I'm gonna kind of work in a clockwise fashion here. I don't know if this is necessary, but I'm gonna work from this light to this light, from that light there, and then this light here. Once I have all the lights installed and up in the ceiling there, I'm going to wire all of these together, get everything working the way it should. So again, each light comes with its own junction box. You can see here it's got the three wires. The copper wire is already grounded to the box, so I don't have to worry about doing that. When you are installing the wires, you're going to install the copper to copper, the white to white, and the black to black. The white are the neutral, the black is the hot, and the copper wires are the ground wires. And then also on the sides here, you've got these little pull-out tabs. These will, whichever one you want to knock out, you'll just knock that out. And then I've got these little wire protectors. These are basically one-way protectors. You slide the wire in through there. You're unable to pull it back out as that kind of clamps down on that wire. So you'll just take this, plug it right, stick that right into there. And that thing ain't going anywhere. That protects the wire from rubbing on the metal as well as keeps the wire secured in place so it doesn't move around. Next I'm 
going to cut this loop here. All right, so this is the wire that I fed through. This is my center light, center dome light. I think we may be putting a fan here eventually because it does get a little warmer up here, especially in the summertime. But we are gonna, probably gonna put a fan up here. But for now, I'm just gonna wire this up to the light here. I'm just gonna be connecting my black wires to the black, the white to the white, and the ground to the ground again with it. As you can see, all four lights are functioning with this dome light in the middle here. I'm just going to end up taking the bulbs out so that that doesn't work so that we can use the smart functions that are associated with these four lights. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and check out some of the function of these lights. These lights are pretty sick. I've been using them for close to two weeks now and really kind of fine tuned them, got them hooked up to the Alexa. They can also sync to the Google Home. So as you can see, I've currently got the nightlight mode on it's set to golden on my camera it kind of looks white but it is golden like a golden yellow if I come into the app here um, these are the lights in my son's room here currently the auxiliary light is on so you can come into here and you can change the colors just by clicking on this color palette here so that's pretty sweet there's like a red pink purple all kinds of colors you can also, from the app, you can dim them and make them brighter. They also have a whole bunch of different preset functions. So here's like a Iceland blue is what this one's called. They just kind of move around. Looking at the app some more, there's just a whole bunch of different presets that you can choose from. You can make a breathe flash mode. This one's called grassland. That's pretty sweet. Autumn. an ocean meter you can see that just kind of moves around pretty sick these are awesome so I've also got these hooked up to Amazon so check this function out Alexa turn Harrison's night lights to blue Alexa change Harrison's night lights to red Alexa turn on Harrison's lights so that will just turn the lights on normally you can also dim these from the Alexa or the Google Home as well. Alexa, dim Harrison's lights to 15%. Alexa, brighten Harrison's lights to 100%. So pretty cool. Within these lights, you can also set timers for them. So in my daughter's room, she likes to sleep with the lights on. She loves the color pink, so we usually leave it at pink. Bedtime's usually about 7.30, 8 o'clock set those to go off at about 9 9 30 when she's out and it's just super convenient so these lights are pretty sick i do really like these a lot i like the smart features on them if the kids leave the lights on and i'm downstairs i can just turn them off by telling alexa to do so i do think these lights would be really sweet in a home theater or a gaming room i know a lot of kids are really into having the led strip lights in their rooms i think these look way better so much better one other thing I've got to mention about Lumeri is they are so great to work with. I had one of the accessory wheels or night lights on, the, on one of the lights wasn't working. I just messaged them. Their customer service said, hey, got these lights. One's not working. Is there a troubleshoot function? Anything like that? And they just replied immediately, said, we're sending you another one. It's on the way. So pretty cool. Very good customer service. Easy to work with. I highly recommend purchasing these lights if this is something you're interested in. Again, this color changing function and the nightlight mode, these things are pretty sweet. If you have any other questions about these lights, how to install them, how they function, please drop those in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, 
Go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.